Hello, Legion Aqua here, and uh, welcome to Blaze Blue RR. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I kind of got recommended this game through Discord thanks to Yuri Chan Two Twenty, and I was also in the same wavelength as Yuri Chan because. After I did that King of Fighters All-Stars first impressions, like the first thing that came to my mind after doing that was actually this game. So this was, and, the, and thanks to Yuri Chan, it was more or less incentive for me to actually release this video because I actually want to know more about this game. And it's quite different from pretty much any other game I've played to be honest because first things first if I can remember where it is is um where is the actually yeah I think the first things first would be the fact that you get well characters are locked until you get pretty much fragments to unlock them through story as well as um, missions but you can utilize them and use them afterwards and they've got obviously up upgradable things such as training you just learn how to do the basic stuff like the basic movements and you can do more on them afterwards because um, these little the stuff that you earn, not the 2000 one, the 2 one, can actually increase their skill on certain, certain taps. So like for this one, I could just, yeah, since I've got enough, I've got 20, I can upgrade this. Okay. <laughs> and maybe upgrade this, so I can have another special. And I have to be level 25 for this kind of stuff. So you get the gist with this stuff. Essentially, this isn't your usual gacha game. Hell, I don't think it I don't think there is even a gacha and okay, no. Um there is gacha, however. <laughs> it's just put differently. If I can remember where the gacha place is. Hero treasure. I think it's hero treasure? Yes, it is. Um so you get your basic, your rare, and your epic. Equipment is essentially your gacha. So, since he's a free one. So I, I got sellable gems that I can easily sell, obviously. Heroes, on the other hand, is a different matter because if you want a different hero, you need gems and the, well, diamonds, as it's saying here. And the more diamonds you get, the chance you can actually unlock a character. Oh, how much does Rachel cost? And obviously the further further down further down you go, the more expensive that four grand? Are you kidding me? Thankfully my favorite character is already unlocked, so that is completely fine. There is a bunch of other stuff, you know, like it's the usual you get Sign-in, logins, um, exchanges, um, the typical wheel, I'm not pulling that. <laughs> um, I think your event missions, I think this is it, I think, yeah, event missions, contests, if you want to go through them. And yeah, um, not really elephant in the room, but the problem with this kind of game, it's VIP and it's kind of hard locked, especially with these. Well, these are free at least. Yeah, see, <laughs> VIP levels, you can't get them. Purchase them, just... Yeah, VIP for me, it's sometimes if like VIP is like extra hard on you, I get put off by the game, especially for free to play players. 
it's essentially saying free to play players we don't give a crap <laughs> okay but that is somewhat mitigated by the actual gameplay which is something I actually like it's it's within the same veins as um, King of Fighters All-Stars obviously with its own um, aesthetic towards it okay so let's go with Noel yeah so you can compare your your hero's power against the enemies obviously if you can do that you can easily fight it so let's just go for it like aesthetically it feels a lot like blaze blue because I had oh Okay, that's cool. <laughs> because I've played, I think, some of the PSP games for this. I, th I think Continue and Shift, and there was one other PSP one that I've played. But yeah, aesthetically, it's very much the same. And thankfully, this game, besides getting through the tutorial and everything, which is actually kind of long, besides that, you can just auto it. Just over there, over there. Also, um, you can see that timer in the middle. Yeah, it, it does make every section in fighting this, like fighting in general, a bit um, stressful because you've got essentially a minute 40 just to clear every area <laughs> and she is not going for it yep there we go oh. die 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 and since I'm way overpowered I'm just defeating this boss oh yeah so th that thing there the thing I just pressed it's essentially um if like the main boss like most of the most of these bosses has their like desperation move where essentially they like they can't be stunned they can't be put to the ground or anything and they'll just do like a AOE attack and if you get hit yeah you get hit but if you use that little power up it negates it and you can just do your own attack because it, yeah, so that's how like some of the gameplay system works and gameplay wise it is actually very smooth to say the least because the other thing is whoop, You can do free raids So after you cleared a cleared an area with three stars you get spoils just by doing this But you've only got 30 times a day so choose wisely so gameplay wise it is actually yeah I like it since it's in the vein of blaze blue so that's actually very nice and equipment is the usual so uh, upgrade it yep upgrade to level 10 yep <laughs> yeah so I got all 10 10 um, I think the only other thing I'm missing up there challenge versus yeah see um, I haven't unlocked some of the stuff because I'm too yeah I'm way too low level or I haven't just got past the story enough I've only been playing this for like a day or so so there's a whole lot more oh my god what are all these things <laughs> like your own coin factory your own Seether factory and your own diamond your own diamond factory. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Okay. So yeah, that is pretty much the basis of the game. Just go through the story and you can unlock characters. And the gameplay is based through Blaze Blue, which is aesthetically nice, and I do like that. Yes, the only two problems I have with it is essentially you need to mid-max K 
characters in order to carry on with the story because the story does like scale very quickly to where your power's at and you need to upgrade it and if the gotcha for your equipment is bad you're gonna have to make do or just increase with your skill the only other thing is the vip problem but i think that's kind of kind of to be expected essentially when um you get characters through story not through gotcha so it's a bit of a toss up with that because what was it dissidia on opera omnia did that not with the vip or anything but just like you unlock characters just by getting through missions it's the equipment that you need to put them on in order to enhance and make them even stronger so in that regard yes for a fighting game this is very new to me and very interesting to me and thankfully the data storage for this is actually small so I can actually keep this on my tablet if I absolutely want to which I might I'll keep it on for a little bit longer to be honest I actually very much like this game either way <laughs> uh, so are you guys playing blaze blue ah uh -uh? what do you think about this just from my first impressions about it and just comment below as for me, I will actually give this a solid 8. It would have been a 9 if there wasn't a VIP pack or anything, but yeah, <laughs> can't, can't do anything about that really. <laughs> Alright, that will do it for me. With that, LA, out.